Greetings and welcome to our devotion time. We are continuing to look at the story of Noah and the flood. The flood is getting closer and closer. We had our seven day warning last week and the gathering of the animals. And I want to focus on the animals just a little bit more today as we talk about the on, uh, oncoming flood here. Why do you think the animals come two by two to the ark? Now, don't misunderstand my question when I ask that. and Don't smile and say, well, don't you know where babies come from? Of course I do. But I want you to give this question a, a little thought. Now, think about this. God had caused every species of animal life to come into existence by the, the, the mere breath of his, of his mouth. And before Adam was formed of the dust of the earth, uh, he did not. Uh, he didn't need a, an ark or a man or, or two of each species to cause the earth to teem with animals, birds, fish, and the like. He cre he created animals and uh, by by his breath, by his mouth. He populated the earth by his voice. So newsflash, I think. Uh, the ark was not for the preservation of the animals. It was for Noah and his families, I think. Adam and Eve's purpose in creation was to, uh, Genesis tells us at the very beginning, to take dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the sky, and over every living thing that moves on the earth. The animals uh, present on the ark was arranged by God so that in the midst of the flood, uh, the death and the destruction which resulted uh, from the, the sin, Noah and his family uh, would not be surrounded by um, death so much, but by life and by the capacity to produce life. Animals were provided on this journey so that they would eventually uh, disembark from the ark uh, after the flood and they would see the animals giving birth to their young and the focus on the would be on the creative wonders of God and the hope for a future rather than the family, Noah and his family, remembering the corruption, the death, the destruction of the past. They were given animals so that they would not, I think, despair and go into this, this dark place. This story, after all, was not about an end, but it was about this bright new beginning. Uh, the floods begin with, with these words from Genesis chapter 7, verse 11. It was the 600th year of Noah's life in the second month on the 17th of the month. On that day, all the wellsprings of the great deep burst forth and the floodgates of heavens were opened. So the time is drawing short. The escape routes are now closed off. Uh, evil is being systematically destroyed by God in this judgment. Then Noah and his family, they, they, they lead the last of the animals into the ark. Um, and, and there they, they are surrounded by the sounds, the smells, the cries of, uh, of the animals. Um, and as they enter in with these last few animals, there's the sound that goes forth in the, the ark. And it's not a human sound, we're told in scriptures. Here the scriptures describe what happened. God then sealed them inside. The door was not just closed, it was sealed. Uh, no one gets in, no one gets out. The die has been cast, the new world has begun. Well, you take care, and I hope to see you Sunday, either at church or once again here on the internet. God bless you. May his peace dwell with you. We'll talk to you soon. Blessings now.